So, dispatch this on a call. The uh, dispatch information comes up. Gives us the basic information we need. Tactical radio channel, response type, incident number, location, nature of the emergency, and the units that are currently assigned to the incident. So, forces itself to the display. So there's a pigeonhole for the current dispatch. No matter what I'm doing, if I'm off looking at something else, premise alerts, uh, text-based information about that occupancy is stored in the CAD system. I'm working on an interconnect with the MESA system. So in this particular call, we got information from the MESA CAD system as well as information from our own CAD system about that occupancy. Uh, PTI or patient information, again, I'm doing some testing. This is information gathered by the call taker or the tactical radio operator after the call has been received. So while the units are en route, uh, they're gathering additional information, putting it into the system, and then we're transmitting it out to the responding units. Generally speaking, uh, on the Phoenix side, it tends to be more uh, medical, so there's kind of a pre-formatted form where they put in the patient's age, sex, infectious diseases, chief complaints. But anytime we want to go back and look at the dispatch, there's one button that will always bring that up. Anytime we want to look at patient information or purpose information. And if something changes, if something changes, it'll turn yellow again to let them know that oh, something's changed. And then whenever it's convenient and based on the type of information, the user's ready to look at it. Go take a look at it. Turns green so they know they've seen the latest version of that. And it dispatched this incident. It also sends a message over to the map telling it where the incident's located. And then based on the GPS set of here that's updating us once a second, we know where we're located. So this simulation here. So now as we if we do nothing at all, it'll start driving toward the incident here. And then as we get closer, it'll automatically zoom in. If we want to go directly to the incident location, we can just get zoom to incident and it'll center it on the incident location. And so we can start looking at hydrant locations, which are the blue dots, access. If we want to zoom in closer, we can do that. Make sure we stick in before the house can't build. Um, we don't let them have a whole lot of control over the layers that come on at any particular level. Um, basically, they, what they said is, you know, we use this for response and it's pretty standard what layers we need to come on at what scale. So to simplify the application at the time they're using it, um, we've all defined uh, what comes on and what layer ahead of time. A couple of exceptions, they can turn the parcel layer offer on and then turn the turn the aerial photos off and on if they uh, don't want to see the aerial photos. But if we go back up to follow me we should see ourselves dragging to the incident. Oh, here we are. Sitting in the red light. These orange polygons represent areas where we have premise information available. Oh, there we go. Um, if we click anywhere inside an orange polygon, it'll bring up whatever information we have about that occupancy. And again, this is the first time it's been launched, it's going to take forever. Uh, this happens to be a multi residency complex, basically an apartment complex. So they can see what the layout of the unit numbers, where the significant features are, pools, laundry room, that kind of stuff. And let's go back to the map here and give you a better idea of what that really looks like for useful things. So we're still competing with the demo. Uh, that's not the building I thought it was, but it's another one. 
Um, the first thing that will come up, they're kind of prioritized. Uh, there's three categories of information for this occupancy. We've got the first responder info, fire ground factors, and digital photos. The first responder drawing is typically what the first D company officer will do. They go to their building familiarization, they do a basic drawing. Some of them do it in Vizio or AutoCAD, some of them do it on paper and send it in, and we have a draftsman do the drawings for them. But basically, this is just a tool that organizes any information we have about the occupancy. So, the, the initial first responder info basically just tells them the ways to get into the building, how to get out of the building, connections, you know, what's in there that might kill me. Uh, fire ground factors is kind of the uh, standardized description of first one, I believe. So, it'll do that. Text based information. I can pull it. And this one, they also had some digital photos. So now, on this right drop down, there's five digital photos. So they can either go through them sequentially if they want to look at all of them, or if they want to go directly to a particular photo, they can pull that up and kind of see what they're dealing with. I mentioned earlier that ADL snapshot, when we're not assigned to an incident, displays everybody within two miles. Now that we're assigned to an incident, it will only display units that are assigned to our incident so that we can see you know, where they're staged. They happen to be uh, on a hydrant or wherever they again, run the test system, so they're back at the station and on the scene. And the little red Mark there is a temporary uh, street closure. We have a special layer for that. To keep it small, we can send those out through the wireless LAN and update them with the closures. Uh, accountability. We do that through the use of a roster. It's the first time I've loaded it, so it takes a few seconds. There's a default normally stored for the unit. Oh, uh, we got an old roster <laughs> in here. Is no longer valid. We got rid of him. Okay, so it comes back, confirms that he's on the truck. Then throughout the day, if uh, someone goes off to a class or something and they're not going to be on the truck, they can just change the status to out, send it in, update the status. All right.